Hello and welcome. My name is Faisal from Phoenix Academy. In the last lecture of this series, we created an ARP spin script that will put us in the middle of the communication between our target and the gateway. However, the packet will only come and pass through our interface. We were not able to capture the packet and do anything with it. Now, in this lecture, we are going to create a packet sniffing script that will actually capture those packets passing through our interface so that we will be able to know what our target is doing, what website is he visiting, and has he entered any username and password, and we will be able to capture those username and passwords. So the first thing we do, we, uh, we create, we type a shebang. Now this is what we call a shebang. A shebang simply designates the Python interpreter that this our Python script is going to make use of. So we have designated Python 2 as the interpreter that this our Python script is going to make use of. Now in line number 3, we imported a module called scapy.all and we wish to reference it throughout our this this our pro, uh, our program python script as scapy. Line number 4 we are importing HTTP from the module SCAFI HTTP. Line number 5 import a module called ACFAS. Alright. Next, we are going to create a function devgate interface. So line number eight, we created a function called get interface. Now this get interface will uh, get the interface that the user of this program want to capture packet from. So it's going to enter the value for the interface over the terminal, and then this function will be able to get that interface from the uh, value of the interface from the terminal that the user has entered. So line number nine, we instantiate an object. We created an object, object parser, from the class argument parser. And the class argument parser is from the module ACFAS.
So line number 10, we make use of function add argument. And function add argument is from the object parser. I remember that parser is an object of class argument parser. So this actually add argument is a function from this class argument parser. Now this add argument will enable us to add a uh, how to add an argument that the user is going to enter over the terminal. So here we are adding an ad, uh, argument interface. So and the user of this uh, Python script is going to enter a value for the argument using the dash i or dash dash interface and then he's going to enter the value for the inter interface say eth0 or lan0 now after entering the value for the interface now the actual value is going to be stored in variable interface which we have specified using the dest argument of this function add argument and then when if the user of the python script uh, type the dash dash help command then this help message is going to be outputted that so that uh, the user will be guided on how to properly make use of this python script uh, specify an interface to capture packets from Options parser that pass x. All right. So line number eleven, we invoke function fast x. Now function fast x is actually a function that will pass over the terminal and then get in the input that the user has entered, the value of the interface. That the user has entered over the terminal and then this function of fast acts will get it from the terminal and then make it available to our python script So line number 14, we invoke function arrow, and this function arrow is from the argument parser, and then it is going to output this particular message, please specify a value for the interface, enter dash dash here for more info. So uh, whenever the user of the program does not enter a value for the interface, now this uh, arrow message is going to be outputted to him, so that it will guide him, so that he could make use of this program properly. And finally, our Python script is going to return options. Okay, now next we are going to create a, a function, another function that will actually snip the packet from the interface.
Okay, so line number 18, we declare a function called snip. Now, as I said earlier, now this function snip will actually uh, snip the packet from the interface. And within this function snip that we have just declared, we invoke the built in function snip from the model SCAFI and we supply the value for the arguments in this function sniff we supply the we assigned the value of the argument iface as the interface which is the interface we are going to snip packet from and then we initial uh, we assign the value of argument stroke to be false now this means that we don't want our python script to uh, store the packet it has kept, uh, it has a snip in the memory of our computer we just want it to snip and then get along with the program with the uh with uh, and continue running the script so we don't want to store uh packets in our computer memory so as not to increase the overhead of our computer and then uh function frn is used to specify a callback function now what is a callback function now for a callback function is a function that will be called after this function snip has finished executing so after this function snip has finished uh, finished executing is going to invoke function process snip packet okay so to better understand this uh a call, what a callback function is let's look at it this way now we have a in a relay race we have uh two players playing they are belonging to the same team now this is this first runner has passed has passed the baton to the second runner now the second runner has connected the baton and is going to continue with the rest as we can see it here so in essence let's uh let's uh assume this is our function snip and then function snip has called after it has finished running it will pass the packet to function process snip packet and then process snip packet will now collect the bit uh collect collect the packet and then it will also execute it will also run so as we are we can make a similarity of uh relay rest to our uh, to our function calling a snip a, a callback function rather okay so next we are going to create another we are going to create the process snip packet def Okay, process snip packet. HTTP http request all right let's print out the packet and see how it's gonna look like print packet now let's make it of the show function all right so line number 22 we created a we created the function process snip packet and we are passing packets to it as arguments okay as a parameter in this case uh remember that i say it is a callback function so after function snip has finished running it's going to call functions process snip packet and then it will pass the packet to it now this is our function process snip packet now within the body of the process snip packet we are trying to check whether our packet has layer http.http request remember we import modules uh escape http and from it we import we import http so this will enable us to check for this layer because this layer contains actually what we are looking for we are if we are we are looking for the uh, url link and then the possible username and the password that the user is going to enter so using this http request we'll be able to check our packet for those interesting stuff so that we'll be able to get them from the packet and then 
but put them on the screen so that we'll be able to see the URL that our target is visiting as well as the username and password he has entered on the website he has visited. So now, I uh, line number 24, I try to print out the packet. So we are going to let me run the script and then uh, let's see the possible layers contained in this our Python script. Okay, let me save it then go to my terminal next let's code the body of our program so that we can run, be able to run the program and see how it looks like so far so we have uh, a created let me create a variable called options and then i will invoke the get interface function next i will invoke the function snip Pass to it options that interface. Now let me save it and then let me go back to my terminal and then I will invoke my script and then see how the output is going to look like. Okay, let me come to this uh, web page, let me refresh the page. Let me go back to my terminal and see how the output is going to look like. All right, now we can see the output uh, that our packet uh, has uh, has outputted using the packet that, uh, that sh using the show me is the scaphy show method, and we are going to make use of these layers to enable us craft our packet snipping script. Now, uh, the layers that are of, int of interest to us are the HTTP request, which enable us to capture the URL that the target is visiting. Now, another thing that is of interest to us is the load. There is a field called load, and which is in present in the row layer. So let's get down and check the row layer. Go down, go down, go down. We'll look for the row layer. Okay, to simplify this, so let me just go to the target website and try to enter a username and a password and then see how the so that we can take a look at the row, row layer so i'm here at the i'll enter a just a fake uh, username and password say test and then i'll enter the password as test 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 login don't save okay so let me go back to the output and then I'll look it okay so we can see the row layer and we can see the field called load and then that we can see the user the user uh, the username I have entered username name test and then we can see the password that I have entered test 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 okay all right so uh, this this row field we are going to make use of the row layer and the field in our fight encoding our Python script to be able to capture the username and the password that the user is going to enter and then we are going to make use of the http http uh http requests http request layer to be able to capture the url that the uh, our target is visiting okay so let me let's go back to our project okay so next I will go, i'm going to comment out this uh line and then next thing we do we are going to url get url Now line number 25, I create a variable called URL and I use it to invoke a function that I'm yet to create called getURL um, uh, and I am passing packets to it as argument. So this getURL I'm going to, is a function that I'm going to create that will capture the URL from the packet 
those URL that the user has visited as we have seen it in the HTTP request layer we'll be able to capture the URL that the user of this program is visiting next I will print out the URL print Alright, so uh, in line number 26, I'm now uh, uh, printing out the URL that the user has visited so that it will be outputted on the terminal. Next. All right, uh, starting from line number 28, uh, login info equals to get login info. So in line number 28, I created a variable called login info. And I'm invoking a function which I'm also going to create called get login info. And, and I'm passing as argument to as I'm passing packet as argument to it. Now, this uh, get login info will actually examine my packet and see whether my packet has possible username and password and then it's going to return it and then assign it to variable login info now i'm now uh, line number 30 i'm checking this login info to see whether it has the username and the password and if it has username and the password i'll now print out a string uh, uh line number 31 which will output a uh, the username and the password in a more presentable manner all right so let me go ahead and create my functions let me start with get url function So what I'm actually doing here, in line number 34, I define a function called get URL as I have invoked it in line number in line number 25. So I'm not actually uh, defining it, declaring it in line number 34. Dev get URL packet and this uh, 
argument is going to require us uh, this uh, function rather is going to require a parameter called packet now in line number 35 I'm returning some values that this uh, fun function is going to get for me and, and actually and I as, uh, ask it to return packet uh, from from my packet the host field which is a layer HTTP request now as we seen it here uh, actually what I'm trying to uh, return here I'm going to return the URL of the website that the user of this that my target is visiting okay so let's look at it this way let's go to or go over to our terminal again now we uh, HTTP 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 request layer post okay but let me look at a get method HTTP request but get method all right so we look at it this way uh, we have the uh, URL actually a URL every URL comprises of uh, the host and the path that is what actually make of a URL and to understand the better let's go to our let's go to this website and then okay let me go back now this is an image now let's uh, look at this image click on view image now we have this view image you can see that the view image this is uh, the we have the domain name we have the parent domain name and then we have the path to our image images slash welcome fix dot gpg jpeg all right let's refresh in it and then let's go back to our terminal where we have the output let me look at http request get met uh, get method yes so we can see our image we can see the path is images slash welcome fix the g, g, g jvg and then we can see the host contain the parent domain domain name so actually a url is the, the is the combination of the host field and the path that is what make up a url as we can see it here we have the parent domain name and then we have the uh the actual uh link to the image Okay. So that is exactly what we are doing here. We are saying a URL is just a combination of the host field and the path field. And then we are asking get URL function to return it to us. As, as, so when we, as we call it a line number 25, uh, variable URL is going to be assigned with whatsoever URL site that our target has visited. All right, line number 38, I declare another function, get login info, which is the same function that I invoke here, a line number 28, get login info, and I'm passing packet to it, and I'm passing packet to it as a, as a parameter. Now, in line number 39, I'm trying to determine whether our packet has a layer called skp.ro now skp.ro is a layer that will actually contain our username and password as i mentioned earlier now uh, as i mentioned earlier so we are using has layer function from the our from uh, from from the hash uh, from this module hash skp http to actually determine 
whether our packet has this layer scapy.ro. Now, when you go back scapy, if you come back here, you will see that scapy.ro layer is the layer that actually contains our the possible username and password that the user of this uh, that our target is entering on the website he visited, right? So what we do? Let's go. Let's go to the target website. Let's go to any website and enter the username and those, those username and the password. Okay. When I'm here, so let's enter any pick as we did before. Let's uh, test. 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 Login. Okay. Let's so let's uh, let's go back to the terminal and see it. All right. Uh, you can see we have the Scapy. Uh, we have the row layer, which is uh, using Scapy. Scapy the row layer, and then we have the field, the load field, which actually contain the username and the password we have entered. St student of username, and then we have the user uh, password. Okay. So. Let's go back to our project. So we are trying to determine that in line number 40, where we say load is going to be assigned with the load with the value of the load field in our scapy.row layer. So line number 41, I created a dictionary called keywords and I populate it with possible uh, strings that the developer of a website is actually used to contain username and password. Login, login, user, pass, username, password, login. Now these are somehow uh, common strings that uh, website developers use to store in username and password. So I'm trying, I'm going to check the lot field to see whether it contains any of these strings. Alright, so uh, line number 43, I'm using the full iteration structure, full looping structure. Now check, look through my dictionary, which contains the, the possible strings that website developers use to contain username and password. And I'm going to check uh, whether the load field contain any of these words in my dictionary. Login, login, user, pass, username, password, login. So it's going to check it whether it contain any of these words, any of these strings. I want if it contain any or at least one of them, then uh, it's going to return 
load a line number 45 to the segment of our script that is that invoke function get login info okay so uh we have done we are done with this uh python script now let's save it and then go to the terminal and then run this uh python script and see how it's going to look like all right let me quit the program clear my screen all right so now let's run the script proper and see how it's going to look like so i'll go to the target website I'll come here, enter the username and the password. Test. 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 Login. Now let me go to my terminal and see the, uh, the output. Okay, we can see that our Python script is running properly. You can see the URL the, we have visited is www.fcecano.edu.ng and the possible username and the password is giving us the username and the password we have just entered. Username and password. Uh, yes, possible username and password. Student app username test and student app username password. Okay, so we can see our Python script is running properly mark the end of this lecture please uh, uh if you have any question you can post it under the comment section you can don't forget to uh click on the like button and if you have not subscribed please subscribe to my channel to get more interesting video tutorials thank you until we meet again